It's bright. It's almost 7.30 in the morning. I'm trying to find a spot that doesn't have sun. <laughs> Good morning. Let's drink some coffee together, shall we? I won't take up too much of your time. So, you're wondering to yourself, okay, what is she going to talk about today? What is this wackadoo doing? <laughs> I'm waiting to go into work. And, sorry about the noise, they're unloading the truck. Mm. I do have story time, but um, I can't remember it at the moment. <laughs> but this video is uh, Shout Out Monday. I remembered this time. Yes, I did. <laughs> so hopefully, I can, I got my little pen. I got a little list because I cannot find a pen. <laughs> oh, can't find a pen. But, oh, oh, how, oh bright. How's this new job going, you ask? Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, I need to redo the hair. Um, Two days off. I have the weekend. Two days off in a row. That's... I loved it. I loved it. During the weekend, um... Did a live of Porch Potatoes. Uh, from now on, it's going to be Tuesdays, 6 o'clock. Unless something else happens, and then I'll let you know. Uh, don't miss it. It's a lot of fun. And, uh, what else was there? Ooh, I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> okay, I put the phone up there. Hopefully, ah, there we go. Oh, now I don't have to freak out. But, um, today is my son's 21st birthday. 21st. Happy birthday, Billy. <laughs> we have a tradition in my house. It started as a joke. But now it's a tradition. Um, <laughs> when you turn to... When, when it's your birthday, you get to choose the dinner for the night. I think it was me who started it as a joke. I, um, it was my birthday and I'm like, it's my birthday. I get to choose what I want for dinner. And it just went from there. <laughs> so his name is William, but I call him Billy. Ever since the day he was born, he's my Billy, my Billy Bum Bum. Um, he wants steak, and we gotta get a cake, and I'm like, ah, oh, you got expensive taste, kid. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Let's see what else we can talk about. Mm. Okay, so let's do a couple shout-outs, shall we? First one I want to talk about, if I could see. Ah, oh, I can't move. Um, I want to... I don't want to mess up these names. Um, da, 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 da. Miss Canadian Stacker. Brand new channel. Under 100 subscribers already. Uh, she's almost at 100. And Miss Southern Bell is doing a giveaway for Miss Canadian Stacker once she reaches 100 subscribers. I will put the links below for you to check them out. Then we have, of course, my partner in crime, the one who enjoys 
<laughs> drinking the wine during porch potatoes is Jumping Frog Dream Creations. Um, I would love to see her, her channel get up to a thousand. And I, last I checked, it was 380, 84, but I mean, yeah, it's a little ways to go, but even if we can get her to 500, that she'd be ecstatic and jumping all around. <laughs> then we got, hi, it's Chris, another brand new channel. I would love to see these channels move on up. So, like I said, if you can, check them out. Links are below. Um, Creations by Jax. She has a, um, a cow, a crochet along, that she's doing of that new uh, sunset wrap. Mind you, it's 7.30 in the morning. The brain, you know, just, no, no. <laughs> but it's that wrap that has the pockets. And um, drop by hers. Get involved in the, the cow. Subscribe to her. Sub, 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 blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Blooper. Subscribe to Hi, It's Chris and Jumping Frog Dream Creations and... Southern Bell, Miss Canadian Stacker. All right, get on over there, check them out, and uh, let them know that I told you to get <laughs> to get on over there. Uh, so I still can't remember story time. Truck's coming, so hold on. I remembered. I remembered what story time was. I had you paused. I'm sorry. Because the truck was coming. It was too loud. But I remembered what story time was. I was sitting here thinking, what was it? What was it? What was it? Um, I think you, some of you know that uh, <laughs> bowling's opening up. I'm a big time bowler. Not like pro or, you know, but I just love bowling. And it's back on YouTube. It's back on the channels. And actually, Father's Day, we start back to my league. Yeah, <laughs> I can't wait. I'm going to be so sore. Oh, my goodness. But um, we had some old bowling balls that cracked around the thumb or we just don't like anymore. And... I told Jeff, come on, let's go, let's, let's take these balls and instead of throwing them out, let's put them to good use. We have them bowled in two months. The new place that we just moved into, the backyard is an incline. But I mean, come on, let's go throw the ball around out in the back. I'll throw the ball at you, you throw it back. He's like, you are not throwing a, a bowling ball at me. <laughs> no, we'll stand at the bottom and roll the ball up and it'll come back to us <laughs> so I'll insert a little video here and that's exactly what we did It worked. It worked. We got to practice our form and everything else. <laughs> we had a good time. Dogs too. <laughs> but here's the story time. Mm. Mm. So as you all know, I hope you can see it. See the hair? It's all long, right? It's really long. 
and my oldest son, his, <laughs> his girlfriend has long hair just like me, really long. She's always, she's the type that she always has to keep it in a braid or up in a, in a bun or a ponytail, almost like me, because it's just so heavy. And the other night, I don't think alcohol was involved. Maybe there was. But we're sitting there, we're just chit-chatting. She's like, I can't stand this hair anymore. It's so heavy, it's hurting my neck, and I want to cut it, I want to cut it. Would you help me cut it? And I'm like, mm-mm. <laughs> I, I may cut it, but it may be a little not straight. <laughs> So, so she gets up, I'm thinking she's going to go take care of the baby, get a cup of coffee or something, you know, something. And she goes inside, because we sit in that foyer, I call it the Florida room. And, uh, she comes out. Not even five minutes later. She's holding a pair of scissors in one hand and her ponytail in the other. She had just gone into the bathroom and cut her hair. And it's like up to here. Looks good. <laughs> Straighter than I would have done. And she just, boop, cut it right off. So... It was a shock, but uh, she <laughs> she has this habit that when she comes over in the morning, she brings the Walmart shopping bags and whatnot um, with empty baby bottles. Okay, you know, because she brings the kids over, yada, yada, yada. And I have the habit of opening the bag, taking the bottle out, putting it on the counter or the table, throwing the bag away. Whenever I see a bag on the table, I know it's a bottle. Yeah. Yeah. I wake up. I'm doing my thing. I had a little bit of coffee, but I'm still, like... Like now, not awake, you know. And I see the bag. Okay, another bottle. Not even looking. I'm talking to my son. He's over on this side. The bag's in front of me, so I'm talking like this. And I reach in and I screamed. I screamed. And jumped back and dropped the bag. I'm trying not to laugh. Workers, co-workers just came out and I don't want them. <laughs> In the bag was not a bottle. It was her hair. Her ponytail. I thought it was a rat. So I, I freaked. <laughs> my son nearly falls to the floor laughing over my reaction. She's going to mail it off to like Locks of Love or one of these places that you donate your hair to. Because it's, it's pretty long. But man, when I saw her, uh, oh, I laid into her. I'm like... You want to save your hair? Fine. You want to send it off? Fine. But don't leave it in a bag that I think is a bottle. <laughs> oh, you had to be there. You had to be there. But anyway, I'll let you go. I've taken up enough of your time. Check out those links below. Okay. And I'll see you soon. Bye.